वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द सेकेंड रजिस्टर दैट इज एस आई पी ओ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस रजिस्टर अगेन आई वुड रिकेपिचुलेट वट वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड रिगार्डिंग दिस इट वॉज अ रजिस्टर वेयर द डेटा वॉज बींग गिवन इन अ सीरियल मोड वाइल एज द आउटपुट वुड बी टेकन अक्रॉस ऑल द फ्लिप फ्लॉप सो इट इज सीरियल इन and the data that is coming at the output is in the parallel form now i will tell you how uh, this register shift register is different from siso so let us come back to what we have studied in the previous video regarding siso so i told you there if suppose we are to store a data that was 11010 one, one, so i told you if there are 5 bits of data then we will require five clock pulses to have a data in our flip flops but then the point was if we look at the output because what you have to understand is this whole block this whole block will not be visible to you it would be like an ic available to you and in that ic from one side you are giving input and on the other side you are getting the output and suppose your data was 11010 and you are providing clock pulses so my question to you is if suppose you have given five clock pulses so what is the data available to you at this output so as you can see in the in the diagram the only bit that is coming out till now is only one so the other bits are still inside the flip flop only they are not outside so you will need six clock pulse to get the next one that is this one you need seventh clock pulse to get the third bit you need eighth clock pulse to get this one and you need ninth clock pulse to get this one so that is basically the disadvantage in siso even after five clock pulses are over you are not getting the data the you are not getting data at the output in fact you need 9 clock pulses to get all the data at the output terminal so in general you will require 2n minus 1 number of clock pulses to get whole data at the output so i hope this point is clear to you you need only n number of clock pulses to store the data in the flip flops and you will only get one bit of data at the output and if you want all the bits at the output like i said here then you need more number of clock pulses you need additional clock pulses for that purpose and that is basically the disadvantage of siso so the next option next uh, type of register that we will discuss is sipo now the uh, another diagram if you look uh, at this diagram this is the same diagram i have copied except that instead of having output only from this side i am taking output from all the flip flops you can see here okay so this is the major difference between this one and the one we have studied already that was siso so here so the output was only at the one flip flop and here we are taking output from all the flip flops so again once your five clock pulses are over and suppose your data was same 11010 so my question to you is once your five clock pulses are over so can you get all the data can you get all the data in the form of 11010 and the answer is yes okay so the point is at the end of the fifth clock pulse you will be having all the data available at the output why is it so because we are taking output from all the flip flops we are not dependent only we are not dependent on only q4 so there are no additional clock pulses there are no additional clock pulses required here to get the data so here in sipo register shift register if you are having n bits of data you need n clock pulses to store the data inside the flip flop and you need only n clock pulses to get the data at the output so this is the major difference while as if it was siso uh, for n number of bits you need n clock pulses to store the data in the flip flop but you needed 2n minus 1 number of clock pulses 
to get the data at the output. So, you can see here there is a difference and this difference is only because we are taking output from all the flip flops and uh, I will uh, tell you in the application part we are basically using this type of register in the communication where we can convert a data from serial to parallel from serial to parallel. So, if you want to have a serial to parallel conversion then this register is useful for there and you might have also uh, read uh, this in uh, demultiplexers. In demultiplexers we are having a single input and that is transmitted to various channels at the output. So, it is one to many circuit demultiplexer is one to many circuit and that is nothing but your SIPO.